All right, and on to the actual build info. So what you're looking at right now is my personal um, item set for Warwick. This is what I use in game. All this stuff up here is just, you know, stuff that doesn't really have to do with any large items. Oracles, uh, or Oracle is pretty obvious. You want to get this when you're level nine, just so you can get objectives. The way I start at level one, I just get Hunter's Machete, one potion, and uh, Pink Ward. You don't need any more sustain than Hunter's Machete, so getting the Pink Ward is really, really nice. And then the Health Potion can help you 1v1 Dragon later on. It can also help you if you get invaded and people like try to kill you at your buffs and whatnot. I mean, it's fucking solo queue, you never know. People are fucking crazy sometimes, so having the extra Health Potion just for safety is very, very nice. But overall, the truth is, you're pretty much just getting it because you have 50 gold extra at level 1 and there's nothing else to spend it on. So you may as well get the health potion. Most games is going to be wasted, but it doesn't matter, you can sell it later. Uh, as for boots, like I said, I don't go Moby boots first anymore. I used to get them every game and then sell them late game for a tanky boot. Just, bec just you know, for team fighting purposes, but... Uh, like I mentioned, the way Warwick's E works is it's kind of it kind of goes against the whole principle of boots of mobility because mo with boots of mobility you want to catch people out uh, immediately because as soon as you start taking damage you can't chase them down and it's just it's just a little bit annoying in my opinion but you know if you're a Moby Boots kind of guy by all means go Moby Boots it doesn't really matter. As far as what's viable goes, you can literally buy any boot on Warwick. I've even seen people go fucking sorcerer shoes. Uh, by the way, that is an option, especially if you go uh, Gunblade, but I'll talk about those builds later on. Berserker Greaves, I wouldn't get them ever, uh, but pretty much all of the other ones are literally almost equally good. It's just, it's just a question of personal preference, really, once again, but... I like Ninja Tabai for armor, obviously, and Merc Treads for anti-CC slash magic resist, so that's just me. Oh, and by the way, with in, in terms of the elixirs, you can get all of them, literally, but if you're not getting, uh, if you're not building AP Warwick, there's no reason to get the purple one, because it's just a shittier version of the red one. So, but if you want, if you feel like your team needs more damage, by all means, get an elixir of wrath, it's fine, it makes you deal quite a bit more damage and you know extra leech i mean you don't need more leech but but um it can make the difference between winning and losing a game it just depends on the on the situation personally though i like elixir of iron a lot iron a lot better uh, mostly of all probably because of the tenacity because fucking crowd control is the bane of my existence for some reason so that's the reason why I like that one so much. Plus, if you're building Cinder Hulk, you know, there's a, an extra little little bit of nice synergy there. So, on to the actual, the actual builds. There are three different ways that you can start out in the jungle with Warwick. Um, and the funny thing is that I kind of, I actually use all of those uh, different, different ways. I just use them in different scenarios. So, the first way you can do is you can just go straight Blood Razor. Mm -hmm. This is fine, it scales decently well, but, um, you know, it's it's not going to make your damage crazy. The other way you can do is you go Wits End before your Blood Razor. This is pretty good in the early game, but it kind of sucks later later on in the game, unless you get more damage items. And the last way you can start out is Wits End into Cinder Hulk. Now, before I say anything else, the whole reason why you can even do this is obviously because of the Wits End buff. It was, uh, the cost was reduced quite a bit. I think that was in 6.9. Uh, so it's, not only is it a very cost efficient item, but it makes, a, it makes so much sense because it deals flat magic damage and it has flat magic resist steel on it. So everything about this item just screams early game. So if you want to beat the crap out of people and snowball the game, and you don't care too much about getting an instant blood razor, get the wits end first. It's really good. However, there's one thing you need to keep in mind. 
when you hit level 6 on Warwick, you have to have Skirmisher's Saber. The smite is just too good. So, if you want to, if you, if you wanted this to be more detailed, I guess the build would look like this. So you go Skirmishers into Witsend and Cinderhawk, or you know Bloodraiser. Although you're probably going to get a couple daggers, maybe even a recurve bow before the Skirmishers. But anyway, so that's the reason why you can you can do all these different starts. So talking about talking about the armor build specifically, this is if there's a lot of physical damage on the enemy team, I'll do this. Now, I mean, Guardian Angel is just, I get it in all of my builds, because it's just its just amazing on Warwick. There's no way around it. Probably one of the best items on him. Uh, Randwins and Spirit Visage for health purposes. Spirit Visage is also just amazingly awesome on Warwick. It has ridiculous synergy with Guardian Angel. It has ridiculous synergy with Warwick in general. No reason not to get this item even against a heavy AD team, I would still get Spirit Visage. It's just too good. And Thornmail, obviously, is just there because they have a lot of physical damage. Now, the reason why I start out with a Blood Razor is because the alternative is that you would have went uh, Witsend into Cinderhawk and then built the same stuff. So the alternative build would have looked like this. The problem with this build is that you have pretty much switched out your Wits End for a Blood Razor, and you've switched your Cinder Hulk for a Spirit Visage. Switching out the Wits End for a Blood Razor in itself is not a disaster. It's gonna it's gonna make you deal less damage in the late game, but more damage in the early game. So there are downsides and benefits to both of them. The primary downside about Wits End is that you're peeling if you peel for your backline against a tangy target it's not going to be as efficient as Blood Razor. It just simply kills tanks faster. So that's one thing that's worth keeping in mind. mind. But the reason why I... Uh, the real reason I do this, this build down here, is because of the way Spirit Visage outclasses Cinderhawk. Now, it looks like Cinderhawk is the right choice because you have scaling health in your runes, you have the Elixir of Iron, and you have Randuin's plus Cinderhawk. But it actually doesn't make you tanky enough for it to be justified because with all with this particular setup, the Syndra Hog is going to give you 600 health with this build. I have calculated this; it's going to give you like 609 or something. I don't remember. It's 600 basically. And the reason why that's not good enough is because Spirit Visage only gives you 100 health less, but it has the passive healing, which is just infinitely better than than, you know, just 100 HP. On top of that, you also have to factor in the fact that Spirit Visage gives you... What is that? 15 more magic resist than Wit's End. So this build is just better than the Cinder Hulk build because it is deceptively tanky. It's actually tankier than the Cinder Hulk build, which is a very strange thing to say because it is Cinder Hulk after all, but that's how it is. So that's the reason why my armor build looks like this, and that's the reason why I go straight Blood Razor with that build. Now... My magic resist build looks like this. So again, wits end with skirmisher saber into Cinder Hulk. That's what I do. Both of these uh, items deal magic damage, so obviously the magic resist shred from wits end is very nice here. But the real reason why I'm actually going Cinder Hulk here instead of straight blood razor is because instead of only having the Randuins to go along with the Cinder Hulk. We now have the Spirit Visage on top of that, because it's not replaced by a Wit's End. It's actually there plus the Wit's End, because, you know, it's a heavy magic resist build. So, the enemy team has a lot of magic damage, I go, I rush Wit's End, I try to snowball the crap out of the game, and then I just become a tanky, unkillable beast. And of course, the reason why you have to have Randwins is because you gotta have a, at least a little bit of armor. Even in the... I mean, even if the only... Uh, source of physical damage on the enemy team is like 180 carry in the late game that 180 carry is still going to kick your ass so you need GA plus Randwins uh, besides you already have enough magic resist at this point I mean you have 3 MR items and if that's not enough you know go ahead and get Merc Treads as well so this build is also extremely strong uh, magic resist items just in general randomly happen to be insane on Warwick but, 
you know, it is what it is. So that's the other build. If the, um, if the opponents have kind of split damage, it's not necessarily a fed AD carry or a fed AP carry. It's more like 50-50. I'll usually build a bit more damage heavy because this is where the Wits End Blood Razor combo comes in. The reason for this is because when you build Wits End and Blood Razor, if you just go pure tank after that, your damage in the late game is going to be surprisingly bad. It's actually quite garbage. So you can't really go Wits End Blood Razor and then full magic resist or full armor. It's, it's not really going to work out. So instead, what you gotta do is, you gotta build more damage, basically, that's that's how it is. Now, you don't have to go Gunblade, that's just, that's just what I'm trying out at the moment, I'm just testing it. But you could also potentially go Trinity Force, or maybe, or you could definitely go Ginsu's Rage Blade. Also, you could go Blade of the Ring King, although, I don't, personally, I don't really like Blade of the Ring King, it doesn't really do what it used to do. Uh, cause it, it's just weaker, straight up. So, I don't know. I like, I kinda like Gunblade because the passive works really well. Because literally all of Warwick's damage is single target damage. Which, which means you're gonna heal for 50% of all of that just from the Gunblade passive. On top of that, the slow is ranged, which means it's pretty nice. And it also just straight up gives you more damage, you know. So having extra AD with all the attack speed you already have, that 40 AD is going to go a surprisingly long way. Of course, if you want to do even more damage and you don't care about uh, sustain or defense at all, you could go Rageblade, but if you're going to go Rageblade, I'd recommend that you put it at the end of your build, or maybe just a little later, so you get a, at least a GA first, and then the Rageblade, and then, you know whatever health and armor item you like. I like dead man's because, you know, move speed is broken. If you don't like dead man's, you could go Randuin's. Overall, I wouldn't recommend the Sunfire in the late game because, well, the the utility and the tankiness that dead man's and Randuin's offer tends to be better in the late game, especially for catching people who are out of position, which is pretty much your entire job as a Warwick player in the late game is catching someone out. And if nobody is caught out, then, well, it gets hard to play Warwick in the late game, but you can't do it. Especially if you choose to just peel for your uh, your teammates. So that's pretty much uh, all of my builds. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. I am a Warwick main, after all, so I should, I should have something to say about this. And I've also done quite the bit of research. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. I hope it uh, helped somebody out, and I'll see you guys a little later.